And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Didn't you rebel against your best friend by letting her twist in the wind with that joint? Joyce, he slapped Chloe yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon, I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. 
I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? And there she is, lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. 